you guys look gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I have been working all night. Dumping you look footage no, and listen, stuff, so I'm like, you the look hair's great. wet. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> you look hey, cute. listen, if. If this is very normal, right? Of yes. There are days where you're looking fly, and I you come in, and I'm on. looking like a bag of assholes, you know? Yeah. And now, and so I just happen to just braid my hair, which is very distracting. I know. Should I braid today? Yes, braid your hair today. Let's be matching. Anyways, we'll be matching. What so, is braid? Uh, this kind oh, of, but oh, oh. she braids. This is just fake braids. I just fake, yeah. It's, and who is this amazing. fake braids? Who is this lovely well, voice that you hear? I know. So we have <laughs> Aurine Julie here today with us. Yes. And she's one of my favorites who I met at a photo shoot just, what, last August? Yes. And she is from Israel. That's right. She's going to tell us all about her life. I fell in love with her with, I mean... Obviously, she's beautiful. If you guys are watching the YouTube, which I definitely recommend watching it with this one. She's gorgeous. She's an entrepreneur. She's driven. She's stunning. Um, she's a very hard worker. She has a very awesome story about her life. And then on top of that, you're very honest. You're very <laughs> blunt, like myself. And I and yeah. we love that. In the Drinking Bro community, these are the girls that appreciate the honesty. They want to hear, hey, this is how it goes. We're not sugarcoating anything. We're simple people. We just want to say the truth. It's right? Easy. That is, that is the first thing you said to me about her. You're like, I met her on this photo shoot, and she was the one that was just like, fucking <laughs> shit. She d it just said just it like honest. it was. Yeah, very honest. Um, and I loved it. Because you were in a group of, let's be honest, a bunch of uh, girls together. I and mean, anytime you get a bunch of girls together, right? Drama. Drama? Drama. Was exactly. It and then just weird behind behind your back stuff. Hey, what, and there? I'm nice to your face, but I'm not. And you were like, but this girl was like, I know. And we, and it, we, Change your yeah. hair. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you don't hear it. And, and, and again, you know, just like, it just very, I, there was one of the girls there who I was very straight up and real with her. I said, hey, I got to be honest. I judged you before I met you. I did. I didn't think that I would like you. But I love you. I think you're awesome. I think you're funny. Like, I'm really glad I gave, like, I gave you a chance. Yeah. Like, that's just the type of person that I am. I would appreciate it back, but we don't, you know, it's not always the case. And it wasn't <laughs> so there, which is fine. But um, so let's start off with you. Like, let's find out who you are and where you grew up and how did you become who you are today? Okay. So first of all, thank you so much for having me today. Yeah. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. We're honored. But yeah, yes, we are. Thank you so much. So my name is Orin Julie. I'm from Israel. I'm 25 years old. Sorry for my voice. I'm a little bit sick. Oh, oh my gosh. Because you're in Vegas. It sounds sexy though. Exactly. It's crazy. In Vegas. It's so dry here. It is. It's very dry. How many dry. days have you been here already? Um, four or five mm. days. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, it's, it's too long. long. Too long. Too long. Exactly. <laughs> Time to go. Exactly. So uh, I, come from, I come from Israel. I served three years in the Israeli um, army in the search and rescue unit. Um, what else can I say? I started... In Israel, we don't have amazing rules with guns like you, you have. We don't have the Second Amendment. It's like nobody has guns. When wow. we serve in the army, we can carry our AR-15 everywhere for three years. But w once we finish, we don't get a private license. It's very hard to get a private license. You can even go to the range. You like have to have like special um, reason to mm -hmm. have a gun or to go to the range. And it's super hard to get a license. So... I met the first time I saw rifle was in the army service and I just fell in love. I started in a desk roll uh, job mm -hmm. in the, um, how do I say it? Can I ask them? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. I love it. Love it. I know. Okay. So prosecution? I started okay. in the um, okay. with, military with, prosecution. Yeah. yeah. So there I started and I wanted to be a combat soldier. So I had a rough time trying to move to combat uh, role. Uh, after one year of hard time i i was moving to a uh, search and rescue unit i served there two more years and it was like the best two years of my life it changed who wow. i am i come like a spoiled kid and then i just become independent mm -hmm. and i after finish my army service i went to civilian life and i was like okay what am i going to do now with my life yeah i really loved my army service but i injured my leg so i had to finish um and then I, I didn't know what to do. And I wanted to do something with guns and rifles, and I didn't know how to get into this industry. I started posting on Instagram stuff on uh, the army and stuff on guns and stuff like this. And just American fell in love with me. But yeah, I don't they know love why. it. <laughs> they do. Well, <laughs> they're like, listen. I know why. A beautiful woman <laughs> with who's, guns. Who's smart. Yeah. Who has 
an I'm opinion. Flying. I mean, what's not to love? Honest. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, but so I, it just took off really quickly. And I started uh, working with a lot of companies from America. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with America. I know that I want to be a citizen one day. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. I just started Alpha Gun Angels, my company. This one. Alpha Gun Angels. Alpha Gun Angels. Yes. Angels. That's yeah. I'm trying to take more women into, into this industry. I have seven beautiful girls from Israel who serve in the IDF. Uh, and they're influencers in my company. And we, I'm trying to bring the idea to this industry and mm -hmm. to raise the awareness that firearms and rifles and all this stuff, it's not evil and it's not scary. Mm -hmm. It's fun. And I want to protect myself. Yeah. Like I know if I'm going outside and someone attacked me, I can barely protect myself if I don't have a gun on me. Correct. So I want to feel protected. Well, and the thing is too, is that if you're going to carry a gun, you want to be good with it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. It's not only carrying it, you, <laughs> you need to knowing, train, you need yeah. to know what to do. So. My girls and I going through a lot of shooting courses. We do a uh, shooting instructor course and also IPSC. I'm a professional shooter, like mm -hmm. I'm sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is so much fun. This is the only thing that makes me feel alive. And people really don't understand it. Even in Israel, when everybody served the military, people looking at me like, are you serious? What do you you love it so yeah, much. Yeah, it's crazy. And nobody gets, nobody understands why I love the IDF so much. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so rough and uh, we don't agree with everything, but this is the only small country we have and we got to protect it. So if I, wanted, if I wouldn't do it, who will? I can trust nobody else. Mm -hmm. And I really want to protect my country. And not a lot of people get it. And it's fine, but I'm trying to raise the awareness and I think it's going amazing because there was for this year 200, my time is a 200, right? 200% raise of women in this industry. Wow. It's crazy. That's and amazing. And I'm so proud because it's not a manly industry. Yeah. Who decided mm -hmm. it would be a manly industry? And yeah. It's crazy. Society. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and, and then this guess what it. we do? We just figure a way and to go, go around okay. it. Okay. Exactly. Like, cool. That's a great idea. Not I'm, happening I'm for me. I'm going in Shacho, for example, and I get so much comments about my look, about how I look. And wh why does it matter? I'm mm -hmm. a beautiful woman. I love my body. I don't take picture with swimmer, for example, not with guns and not without guns because I think it's not professional. Mm -hmm. But I love my body. I love how I look and I still can love guns. Mm -hmm. It's not that surprising. And I get like um, bad comments from old men. And I was like, who the fuck you think you are? Yeah. I'm sorry for being rude, no, but I'm right. trying to break in this industry yeah. and people are trying to put me down. It's crazy. Why? Like, we're all human. You think it's based upon your looks primarily? I think or it's also because I'm a woman. Sure. The woman's like one thing, but right? Yeah. Do you think it's um, like here in America specifically? No, in Israel okay. it's, it's even it's harder. Bad, even harder. I okay. get a lot of appreciation from okay. the American people. In Israel it's even harder. Got it. People trying to put me down like yeah. every day I'm fighting it's crazy yeah mm -hmm. and, and i just love america so much because there are people who try to put me down but much less than israel it's crazy mm -hmm. yeah and i really love i get a lot of love from the american people and i really appreciate the second amendment and i really support it mm -hmm. and i don't get I, I don't see how people can say like we need to take your ar-15 like ben yeah. says and i'm really interested in everything that happens here in america and i think it's a great country and why I'm not a citizen? I know you I will know. be. She will be one day. We gotta make this oh, happen. Absolutely. Wait, is this our, our third? This is our third mission that we've that taken we're going on to on make show. happen. Is She'll be a citizen. Maureen's gonna be a citizen <laughs> after, we, after we find Jarrett a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, we have like no, other weird little You're, missions. You take priority. No, <laughs> this, this is, is a real big you. mission. So, um, well, let me ask you this. I just want to show this. One. I know oh, it's beautiful. Say, yeah. I, Isn't that awesome? This is my biggest love. I can't explain it. People look at me and say. What, why do you love guns so much? I say, I don't know. It's just love. I, just I feel love. Can alive. you explain it? No, no. exactly. Yeah. Can you explain why you love your husband, for example? Yeah. Yeah. No, you just love it's just, him. It's love. It's yeah. love. I can explain it. And it's so much fun. And people just don't get it. They the think it's evil. It's not. Yeah, the queen of guns thing. Do yeah. you like this name? I, I'll tell you why. Can yeah. Why? Of, of course. Of course, with my Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I named myself the queen of guns. Love it. Because... I think that the way you see yourself, this is the way that people are going to see you. Mm -hmm. Once I called myself the Queen of, of Guns, people started calling me Queen of Guns. So the way you see yourself and tell people, this is me. And I don't care if you like it or not. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah. And 
I think it's great. I love. I like this. That's name. beautiful. Yes. I love that, and that's a good lesson just in general. I know. Say that you're the fucking bitch. Yeah, and that's, you're that. And yeah, we are all speak queens. positively. <laughs> yeah. like, speak highly of yourself. Yeah, exactly. speak positively, and yes. those things will manifest. Exactly. Yeah, the, the way you see yourself, this is the way people see you. It's very and, true. Yeah. There is another one in this industry called Gun Queen. Uh -huh. And people come to me, oh, uh, you, f you probably hate it because... No, we are all queens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fine. I like that. <laughs> we have to support one another too, exactly. right? Especially if they're in the same industry. Exactly. People say, like, uh, women are so competitive and it shouldn't be like this. Mm -hmm. I, do, you I'm trying find, do you find that though here? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Some and we love girls. America, right? We're not saying that. Not all but America. You are seeing, also, yeah. Israeli uh, girls. It's crazy. It's just They're a just girl thing, huh? Exactly. Competitive. Damn. And no, I'm it's better across than the you. Globe. It's across Who the globe. Who the fuck cares? I'm good. You're good. <gasps> you do you, and I do me. I have my own goals. You have your own goals. We don't have the same goals. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not a competition. Yeah. And, and it's crazy. I don't. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm sure. half a man. I don't know. <laughs> no. I mean, aren't we Possibly. all? Aren't we kind of all? Possibly. Here? Now right? I have a question. Did you get a lot of pushback in Israel? What is pushback? You, um, mm, did you get a lot of trouble, or did they give you a lot of um, like hate or anything when you want to have guns? Because no one has guns, right? You yeah. said there. There's so what a happened? Very small society of community of gun people it's crazy. because you have a lot of shooting videos in israel yes so, so how does that work uh because i'm a shooting instructor okay and I'm, okay i do the ipsc and i was a combat soldier and i went through a lot of um how do you say? training training bureaucracy. oh bureaucracy, bureaucracy yes yeah. so um I, i just got to have a license but it's very hard i just i didn't get like a private license i have a private a license for a company It's super hard to get a license in Israel, but I do everything like by law and I don't want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And I I'm just trying to raise awareness and I get a lot of hate about it because mm -hmm. there is a strong left wing in Israel and I get comments like, I wish you die from what you publish. And wow. I was like, what? I thought you should be like, we all love each other. <laughs> what yeah. happens now? Yeah. And just uh, crazy wishes, but, but it's fine. I, I know I'm tr I'm making a change. Yeah. And making a change in people's minds is super easy. It's super hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, for example, every time someone came with a new idea, everybody was trying to put him down. No, it will never work. But once he succeed, they all, oh, yeah, we, oh, we knew you would. Oh, you did not. Yeah, exactly. You did not. Exactly. 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 Even my father, before he passed away, told me, no, you can go to the army. And you are my little kid. I can uh, give you to the army, like, to go to a convent role. And I was, um, I was like, I respect you. I love you. Sure. And, but but I, can't, I can't. This is who I am. I need to do it. And uh, one, one month before he passed away, he passed away from cancer oh. seven years ago. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. sorry. Uh, so he just gave me his blessing. Did it, he? It was oh. so hard to get his blessing. Yeah. But he was like, you know what? I believe in you. And everything that should be happen will happen. And I'm really proud of you. And I want you to go to combat role. And this is what gave me the push. And I yeah. wouldn't be here if I wouldn't be a combat soldier. And it's amazing. And I'm, I feel like he's watching me yeah. every day. I'm so, so it's hard. so. I love that amazing when you have your family's love and support right like and here's Absolutely. the thing is i think because i've been in the same position he loved you no matter what and he oh. always supported you and i think he just went like it's so great that you had that right i know we're both like i'm trying not to cry know, here I'm not, you're, <laughs> you're all crying i'm not crying um, your makeup. <laughs> but no that is beautiful and um i'm so glad you had that and he is he's watching over you and he is sure. so proud of you i get so it so proud my mother of every day she yeah. tell me I'm sure if your father was here, he would be so proud. And I'm taking, uh, I'm taking care of my mother right now because mm -hmm. she's a little bit sick. She got into depression after he passed away. Mm -hmm. So I'm like uh, taking care of her. And I get so many good comments from her. And when people say, oh, you are this and this and trying to put me down, I just need one good word for my mother mm -hmm. and yeah. everything just deleted. I've done that same thing before. <laughs> I Mom, love it. Moms, um, <laughs> these people are saying things about me. Listen, yeah. honey, you're, you're the amazing. Best. They're you jealous. Are, yeah, <laughs> you're the best. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. it helps with anything. It's crazy. With everything. Family is everything. Yeah. yeah. So, how often do you come out to the United States? Then I come every two or three months. I'm, I'm just do so you? Long. Yes, yes, yes. The flight is hard. It's like six, six yeah. hours of flight. Yeah. But I, I can't refuse. I, I just, every time someone calls me to the United States, I'm like, yes, I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming. You <laughs> need to be here all the time. Will you get flown out by <laughs> companies? Yes. 
to come out here, right? Mm-hmm. So who do you get? Who brings you out here? And what are they bringing you out here for? Um, shooting, like uh-huh. photo shooting stuff like this. Uh, also, like connect. I'm connecting people. Like if I find a buyer, I'll find whatever he needs. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so this is the company, and we okay. do a lot of stuff. I uh, brought my girls here f- to stand in a booth. Um, for companies mm-hmm. but it's not like gun bunnies standing in booth sure. they are professional and they are well dressed like this yes. yeah and they're they just pretty famous so people just come to the booth and it's really um promote the company they work for yeah so this is all uh, another thing we do we also have e-commerce shop on aga dash guns com mm-hmm. this is pretty new it's hard yeah. but it's pretty new. yeah yeah it's nice um and we do a lot of stuff just everything around guns <laughs> Yeah, because that's her love. Yes. Love. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So wait, let, let me ask you this. So if you had to pick between your gun and your fiancé. Oh, oh, girl. That's oh, don't girl. Ask that. her, fian- her fiancé is here, too. <laughs> don't ask which, that. He's well, right that's how you not take your fiancé yet, right? But you guys are getting <laughs> yes, married. Yes, we possibly. will. We will. Yeah, this, which, he's the one. <laughs> well, you seem like you have a good one, and you have really good friends here he with you, amazing. too, as well. Absolutely. Um, no, I, I'm kidding. Don't do that. No, no. It's like, I, it's like, I it's like picking your favorite kid. I'm joking no. with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? It's the same I thing. met him six six months ago. Yeah. Okay. And I knew it from the first moment that he's the one. It's just you like it. a fairy tale. I know. Oh, how did you guys meet? Um, uh, not in a good reason. Like, it, <laughs> I just dated someone and then I met him. And it happened. It hey, look, it happens. <laughs> no, yeah, it happens it a happened. lot. Actually. It happened. Yes. And I just fell in love and I couldn't resist. Mm-hmm. And then I flew to the United States for three weeks and he was waiting for me after two days. Yes. <laughs> <So good. laughs> that, that's how you know like when you know you know yeah it, it was just on the second date we were like that's it okay mm-hmm. <laughs> and um uh, he wants to live in israel <clears throat> if you can convince him to move to the united states <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's <laughs> project <laughs> four mission number four <laughs> convince her <laughs> family family you guys need to to live. Live. the Listen. flights are so hard please oh you my goodness be, i can only imagine so busy here you would no I, I don't know how busy you are in Israel, but you <laughs> would be very busy, busy here. Yeah. Well, if you could pick a place to live in the United States, where would you live? I guess it would be Texas, but I gotta say, I love it. I gotta say that California is amazing. The yeah. views there are crazy, but what is going on with the people there? I don't get it. <laughs> she's just <laughs> this is a great conversation. I, I'm a, I, she, she's what do you mean? No. People, I really don't know, and they've lost their mind even more now i don't get it uh you know after Trump all the and crazy everything. things yeah. happens in california i know yeah Why? Well, and they, they have crazy to gun laws own, too they want to be their own country essentially. oh separated for the united states yes yeah, so they feel like they are because they don't think about the middle of america they mm-hmm. don't think about east Co- they literally only think about themselves right and what works for hollywood industry yeah, rich people uh, white people not affluent. even the majority like just a small group of people for example right? oh, yes i i want to be in hollywood industry i know it's going uh, to be very hard for me because yeah i'm with guns yep <laughs> and it's crazy because on their movies everything is with guns mm-hmm. but no in real life no no no. oh yeah sure they kill people and and around around and running around with guns and stuff but yeah. in real life no no no, no. oh no it's can't do that much. can't do that so or <laughs> They will have security guards with them that are armed. It's crazy. But I don't want any guns around me. Yeah. What the fuck? But I need my I security guard to be Why armed. Why wouldn't you be your, se- your security guard by yourself? It's crazy. I don't get it. Okay. Yeah. They're just <laughs> a bunch this of... This is uh, a long conversation. This is a really <laughs> long conversation. Oh, I know. We I could know. go... Yeah. But the problem is, it's so nice there. Yeah, it, it is. Like, it's beautiful. Amazing. Damn it. I- I'm shocked by, by, by the view. Oh. I'm coming to Terran Tactical a lot. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, is he in Arizona? Valley. Simi Valley in Simi Valley, oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think oh, I trained with I'm him. I'm just yeah. shocked by the beauty of this country. It's crazy. Oh, sure. Well, you have every type of kind of environment in California, California. while you're there, right? You have the mountains, so you can go up, it's get the crazy. snow. You have the beach. Yeah. Like, you I go swear, to that, like, the area. sky are different from Israel. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the climate like over in Israel? Like Vegas. <laughs> Is it? Super like Vegas. Hot. <laughs> Is it really it's hot and so dry? so hot, yeah. It's, uh, now we have storm of rain, mm-hmm. but it's super hot. Yeah, so you might be used to this then a little yeah. bit with the dry. Yeah, but it's more dry here. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's my, the my dryness nose is only. Dying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It's crazy. Yes. The first day. And the, the, like, the your hair, hair. hair. <gasps> Everyone's hair has been getting super static. <laughs> <They're getting colored. laughs> yeah, exactly. Girl problems. Exactly. Girl problems. <laughs> what are you going to do? Girl problems, right? I don't right? understand. Um, so when we were at the photo shoot, because I kind of yes. want to get into this a little bit. So yeah. it's really funny. So we were sitting there and Aureen goes, that's so American. <laughs> and you're like, what do you mean? And I look over. 
and I see um, like, you know, a bunch of girls like on, I think it was like a four wheeler or something. Like what an is a- wheeler? An ATV. Um, like a- it's like one of those motorized oh, yeah, yeah. big four, four, four wheels. wheels. Okay. And uh, they were all, you know, pushing boobs out and being sexy and doing everything. And she just was like, uh, she said something about what <laughs> basically Israel thinks of us as women. I like, yeah. And then what they think of us. And I, I probably agree with them. But yeah. was kind of like, I can totally see why that's the case. And I would like to hear it again. First of all, I don't judge you. I love sure. America. This is my favorite country in all the world. I would live here. Sure every day <laughs> yeah and we but, feel um, the same way no we too, do too. yeah but at the same time there's stigma i understand that there are reason. things that we do here that i think other countries just must be like why fuck why so i'd yeah. like to know what uh, okay so <laughs> i i just think that maybe people here just don't value like sexuality you know what i mean yeah like you can do it with everybody and it's fine and m- maybe because okay. israel is a little bit more religious so I, I don't get like the uh, ooh boobs everywhere. And yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I mean everywhere, especially now. Sh- oh, shot here? show. Oh, here. You go to the floor. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. The okay. gun with this the is the first out? thing, and, yes. and it's fine. You you can love yourself and you I absolutely mean, I accept everybody. I just don't understand it for myself. Yeah, and um, I don't get the fact that you like, hey, I love you so much. Your hair looks amazing. Oh, you're so beautiful. And then oh, I hate that bitch. I know. I just don't this get is, it. This it's horrible. This huh? is where it's I horrible. was like, I completely understand this because it was happening. Like as she was talking to me about it, it was happening in that environment. I just it happens it. all the time. And like, it was kind of like, like somebody. No, just I agree. In- ignore them. I don't know, but yeah. Why? Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so cute. It's like I, I can see you're lying to my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it doesn't even look real. Yeah. Yeah. While it's it. not everyone, I'm it's sure it's a not. lot of people. We right, just and do we all. That. Why I mean, do we do that? You know why? Because <laughs> it's I crazy. think confrontation for people yeah. is scary. What is confrontation? Confrontation means when I talk to you and go, "Hey, do we have a problem? Like, are you mad at me? Do we have a problem? Like, did I hurt your feelings?" Okay. Almost a fight. Okay. Not a fight, but not you're a fight. before but a fight. But like yes. a level before. Well, you fight. know how even today I was like, "Hey, did I hurt your feelings?" I, I was like, "I uh, heard that I apparently you and Tara were the only one who were talking to me." <laughs> yeah. So like, <laughs> oh, okay, but okay, I okay. confronted her and said, "Like, oh my god, if I did, I'm sorry." You know why we're like that too? Of like, did I hurt? feelings did i do because people don't let you know no that exactly. you hurt your feelings so you're always like i'm always worried like did somebody like me did they not like me because yeah. i hurt their feelings they would never I feel tell like me american are because too don't... much polite you know what i yes. mean like but, but, but that's not polite I like though that. right well Talking... i don't know i don't know like maybe they see it no like, i get it but but i don't like like to be fake you know if mm-hmm. i don't like somebody or i have some a problem with somebody yeah. or somebody did something very mean to me I would have said it. Like, sure. Yeah. Why are you mean to me? I think it really seems want? so simple, right? It, it's simple. <laughs> it seems I think so like simple. being fake is just complicated things. I uh, no, I completely agree. Because it and we solve it. It's so easy. Yeah. If you're fake with a bunch of people in your life and you want to be close to someone, then those people are going to start wondering if you're close exactly. to them. Hey, are you Yeah. Are you talking about me the same way? Are you fake towards exactly. me? Yeah. It doesn't establish trust in a relationship. You can't have a good friendship or relationship because of it. Yeah. Right. So I can understand like the politeness thing. Like, hey, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Right. Like I'm kind of afraid. Yeah, exactly. To talk to you. But where it gets rude is then where people are too afraid to tell you something to your face. But then they go behind your back and tell everyone else. Yeah. So Rudy Ray has actually said something interesting crazy Rudy Reyes but anyway <laughs> yeah. he said something interesting yesterday when he was just like he had was in Hollywood a little bit and tried to do stuff there and got fucked over or whatever and he was he was like in war it's so simple it is in I have war. a I have a gun I'm gonna kill like right someone will kill you in Hollywood it's like it's so complicated yeah. the way that they go about fucking with you right yeah, where they'll like crazy. go behind your back they'll try and take money from you they'll try and ruin jobs for you it's so complicated, rumors, so complicated so that he was saying just like in combat right it's simple i need to kill you right and then and the thing whatever. is too there's no drama like in combat you yeah. have to be okay with your friends yeah, exactly. you're not yeah. you're not busy fighting because you're too busy trying to stay alive yeah. and exactly. keep each other alive right exactly. and you appreciate that more yeah and it's just so much it's so much so much more complicated the way that we fuck so with much. people here Absolutely. and i agree with that where it's just like man we mess with people's heads yeah and money and business and people go behind people's back all the time I know. so so well, what yeah. do you do in Israel then? Uh, it's n- not everything is like different. We're all honest yeah, yeah, and yeah. fine. We 
also have like the fakeness. Fakeness mm-hmm. is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, fakeness, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, but I think that because we have a mandatory service, it just grows you. Yes. I feel like I become more independent and just more focused on myself after the army service. And I think that if America would have had a mandatory service even for one year, it would have changed people. Mm-hmm. Like, because you're uh, facing difficulties that you never thought that you would. Like, y- you don't eat, you don't sleep, you're tired, you're running, and you, f- you like... You're not a sheltered little like person that's no. never done anything. Yeah, you're just so checking your borders. Yeah. Your limitations. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Your limitation is mm-hmm. crazy. And it pushes you exactly. outside the box, right? Exactly. Like uh, out your comfort your, zone. Exactly what I was yeah. meaning to say. It's <laughs> funny because before I went into the military, I was pretty, I, I thought I was independent. <laughs> Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you think that you are, but you're really I'm not. I'm a strong woman. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> coming to the military. Yeah. Ooh, and I'm then I, <laughs> the, like, I remember when I was in boot camp, I really started to appreciate my life. I'm, I was thankful for my mom and dad even more. I was thankful for the way they Absolutely. loved me. Right. Absolutely. I was thankful for all the, the freedoms and things that I had that it was kind of taken away. Exactly. And all these things immediately was like an epiphany. It hit me. And I was like, wow, I okay like this is happening and I remember when I saw my parents I hugged them and I kissed them and I was so happy and I was just like thank you for being and, my parents yes and I was like I'm so sorry for being an asshole I've been a terrible daughter yeah. um, exactly. but it does it made me grow up quicker it helped me grow up quicker find my independence I was able to do a lot of things on my own at a young age whereas nowadays especially in America right we have like 25 year olds 30 year olds you know 35 year olds living at home with their parents living yeah. off of them yes. you know what yeah. i mean um I and that's kind of rare for here exactly in america like, i think the israeli women think about the american men that they are very childish because we oh are God, yes yeah because <laughs> we uh, we have like the israeli men are very grown because of the military service yeah and every time i meet like a combat veteran in here in america is very grown yes but like I don't know how to say it. Like, if you meet American men, it's like, hey, let's go gaming and do <laughs> stuff. Like, uh, and, uh, and I, I love, love America. Your, I love your <laughs> invitations. It's great. Like, it's so perfect. Yeah, though, no, it's... They're like, want to go drink? Wanna exactly, go, let's like, go drink beer in college and <laughs> stuff like this. Play video like, games all the time and... Uh, Let's talk business. Yeah, like <laughs> every girl. Exactly. I love this. I mean, there I are there are becoming a li- probably a little bit more younger yes. like entrepreneurs nowadays yeah. because of social media, Absolutely. right? Which is really cool to see. Yeah, that a lot of them are starting it. But yeah, there's also the different end of the spectrum too, where it's just kind of like. And it's very important to up. mention that the United States is my favorite country in the world, and I appreciate the American people. You just oh, don't wait. No, 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 we know. Okay. No, but okay. I think it's very hard. No, I think people that know you probably feel the same way do you know what i mean yeah. where like we do we like, do i see yeah. it i completely see what you're saying completely i say do you know how many americans are listening to this like being literally like, everyone going yep yep she's yep. right yeah. yeah that's totally yeah. true yeah. <laughs> or like oh that's me i know <laughs> Shit, that's she's talking and about me i want to say like <laughs> we're not all like that but kind of kind of <laughs> right like we've all been that maybe we've all bit. been that we've all been there exactly yeah. maybe we will make more people to go to the army there we <laughs> go this podcast yeah. there we go so we could talk about that too <laughs> because i know you said that in israel they serve for two years uh, girls for two years and boys for three years boys for three years and i know we talked about in korea um i think they have a mandatory service of also two years and i remember when i was over there that they all said that was an amazing idea because you did like find those skills to be on your own and get independent and you appreciate it your military a lot more you appreciate it your country a lot more absolutely and if you really want to stay past those two years you could do you think like so you guys do that in israel yeah let me ask you this because i mean you live do, here do you yeah. think that'd be a good idea for the united states yes and here's how i <laughs> think about it i used to say this all the time yeah but it was about serving at a restaurant Mm -hmm. because i'm not in the military (laughs) but i was like i think everyone should have to like have a shitty job sure that's the only thing that i can um equate it to right Uh because Mm -hmm. i'm not military but uh something hard something hard so i always like because i had to work since like 15 but like really hard just like shitty jobs gas station like just Absolutely. dumb shit. Being right? a waitress yeah. is, is rough too. Yeah. Like sometimes. It's well, you deal with it's not assholes military, of people. But no, yeah. the way that I can equate it is that where I was just like, these motherfuckers, like somebody, they should have to clean up like pig shit exactly. for two day, two years. Mandatory. 
the all these little fucking like I think asshole brats, right? Exactly. So it's the same sort of thing. Not same, but that's kind of. I've always yeah. said that. Mm-hmm. Just going through something Do hard something. to understand yes. how life is good. So and you, you can, can treat people. Yeah. For example, like you can treat people like in the f- service industry or people that are have to do hard jobs. Like you just treat people better exactly. because you've had you to go through. And you appreciate your country yes. a lot more. I think like, I mean, I'm Israeli, so I just see how American don't appreciate your country. Yeah. And, and I'm like. How like, come you, you don't doing? appreciate your amazing yeah. country? And they've never been anywhere freedom. else. Exactly. They've only been here and they're like, fuck That's this. the hard part. Yeah. yeah. Is that you a lot of people... You have amazing freedom. It's crazy. Yes. With Israel, we don't have it. Like we have strict gun rules and nobody has a uh, has gun. And I'm not talking only about guns. It's crazy. You have amazing freedom. And the American people just don't appreciate the country. Mm-hmm. It's true. What other strict rules are over there um, in Israel besides just guns? For businesses, like taxes okay. and stuff, it's way more crazier than israel is it like i'm I'm independent and i have my own my own uh, company and the taxes are killing it's way crazier than oh shit it okay is. i can't compare because i'm not pretty familiar yeah, with yeah, your yeah. taxes mm-hmm. but it's you can way more you can get around them here where i'm sure you can't <laughs> <laughs> tax fraud <laughs> look not tax fraud but you know you tax can, evasion <laughs> you can tell evasion. them certain things like, stop hey. it no, no i'm no. gonna get arrested no but you know what i mean you can <laughs> i'm sure you can't work with it there yeah How about that what about being a woman over there? So you are very beautiful and you wear like tighter clothes, yes, right? Absolutely. And you like, do they all wear like the headdress and everything no, over there no, still? No. Or? Not everybody is religious. We come to a point where not everybody is religious mm-hmm. and we're trying to copy America all the time. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so in the beginning I had a rough time because I'm a woman, a curvy woman, let's say like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they and got a lot of c- bad comments, but now it's it just. First of all, I don't hear it. I don't care. Like I like that. You're just jealous because I have a beautiful body, <laughs> and I'm working so hard in the gym for it. <laughs> Amen. Exactly, you work for it. Yeah, yeah. So go like, ahead, be pissed like, if you I'm, want. I'm train. I train like five times a week. Do you really? Yeah. Good for you. Going to the gym and and really put much effort yeah. about it. How how can you speak like? Ah. I don't get it. <laughs> you were running at the photo shoot. She would get up in the morning and run, and I'm sitting there going, "My fat ass <laughs> is not going to." I was also I told oh, no. her I told her too that I was seven weeks pregnant at the photo shoot oh, at the time, right. so I was feeling kind of sick, and I yeah. didn't really want to work out. So I just like, decided God. to eat healthy. <laughs> there you go. Instead, <laughs> that was my substitute. Oh my gosh! I know. So it was one of those things. But I was watching her run in the morning. And I was like, okay, like <laughs> she's dedicated. I give you all the, you know, like the kudos, like good Thank on you, you. for doing you so that. Much. I, I brought it. workout clothes to Vegas. So did I. They're still sitting in my suitcase unused. <laughs> well, guess what? Um, <laughs> I'm busy, wearing, but I, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to get up and run. We both talked about working out while we were here. I, well, um, I really want to work out while, while I'm in Shot Show, yeah, but yeah. it's impossible. I'm sorry. It's impossible. It's very, very impossible. busy. You're working just, as soon as you get up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're working as soon as we get yeah. up. I, I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and I have to... Get ready. get ready. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm You're kind of getting ready after and, this. No, yeah. yeah. And no time for running, no time for gym. I know. And, and then you're coming back to the hotel in the evening and just... <laughs> Yeah, you're tired. Exactly. Yes. You know what's so funny is I didn't think that talking to people all day <laughs> and interacting is yeah. would be tiring. It so is. Tiring. But and it Chacho is. is huge. You just walk around yes. and you never find the end. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But now I like it. Are you here with your company? <laughs> yeah. Or are you here? Okay. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. I have two beautiful girls that came with me. Uh, Mogli and Abigail. Abigail is an American girl that came to serve in Israel wow. as a combat uh, paramedic. She served for two years and now she came back to LA. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. She like does everything. Yeah. Krav Maga, Jiu Jitsu. She sings. She's beautiful. She's badass. So hell yeah. Yeah, and she's American. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's amazing. Some of them. <laughs> that she went over there and and served. Yeah. yeah, she was a lone soldier. She came by herself to Israel, and it's crazy because every time I think of someone that come to Israel to serve, they just come by yourself and they have no family, and nobody to support them, and she came by herself. And we have like, how do you call it? Garin, Garin Tzabar, is it? Garin Tzabar, do you know what I think is funny is that um, she can speak two languages fluently, mm-hmm. and I 
I can barely remember French from high school. <laughs> Do you remember? Like, really? Remember when you took French? Remember? Because you thought you were going to go French? Fluent. No, you're good. One of the girls, one of the, <laughs> said, one of the fans came up to me last night, too, and was like, I took French in high school, too. I was like, we uh, all French. wasted our <laughs> high school. We all did. Our high school. No, Nobody knows how. Um, so, uh, lone soldiers get, like, um, support for the army, uh-huh. but, but it's, it's still not the same, like, coming back to your mother every week, every weekend, and get your uh, clothes washed. So, I really appreciate it, and... She she's so strong mm-hmm. for doing this. She first of all she moved to France to learn France mm-hmm. and yeah. French, uh, French French yeah. yeah okay and and then she came to Israel to serve. Wow, it's amazing. I just really appreciate everything she does. And now she she came back to LA and I'm so jealous. I know she's, oh. she's gone. <laughs> when you come here, you well, don't no, you have to her. go. To, but it's yeah. good. It's good because now I have companies and I just send her in the United States. Oh, yeah. perfect. Some projects. So she came to Formula A to Vegas to be with Double Shot, this company. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's an Israeli company that does. Is like, it? I've been yeah. seeing that around a lot. Yes. Because they are working on the social media. I yeah. Mean, good for them. Okay. So <laughs> She's like, did you get a hookup? Did you get a hookup? He did a commercial. I think yeah. Alex. <laughs> Alex Zedra. What about I her? I think, did you get her? Did she work with Double Shot? No, she worked with uh, like a familiar company. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so they have an app that do zeroing and scoring and really futuristic. And Mowgli, my Israeli girl, served also two years as a combat soldier. And she works for Ecotech in this uh, show. Yes. They're, they're amazing. They're uh, American from California. Yeah. And I work with them for almost a year and they're great. And it's really fun. And also a um, reporter of a big channel from Israel came with me to make like a documentary movie. Oh, yeah. About our work together. It's so amazing. what is what is that going to be about? So you are like, let's not beat around the bush here. She's famous in Israel. Very, yeah. very, and very, in very United famous States. in yeah. Israel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, United and in the United States. But I'm saying like, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're definitely famous here, but you are like one of the well-known females in Israel. Like, do you go places and people are asking yeah. to take I, pictures with you? I, I was yeah. in a reality show, unfortunately. What? Which yeah. one? Not survival. unfortunate. That also. Yeah, that's a good thing. You survival were on what? VIP, you know? Sur- uh, sur- survival. It's kind of like Survivor. 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 No way. Yes, I was a bit. Oh my no, gosh! Well, I mean, I, we need to see you, this now. How'd you do on the show? Yeah, bad. No, bad. No, I'm, I'm, I'm. She's not like, getting. I have a gun. I, I can't be fake with people. This is the thing. Oh, okay. And, and you game. have to be exactly. Okay. You have to be fake and do. Oh, I love you so much. Don't uh, make me go. And I just can't. I'm oh like, my gosh, that's the whole thing like, with Survivor is going behind it is. people's backs. It's just and I'm alliances. so bad with this. Yeah. That's I, a good thing. On the mission, I was good. Like it's running, sure. yeah, yeah. Lifting things. I was gonna say you're very physically fit, so that's no issue. Yeah, but but people hated me. <laughs> because she's like I'm listen I don't truth. like you I, yeah. I was like what the fuck do you want from me <laughs> you old bitch you're just jealous and yes but you know what I'm sure that really made for great TV though That's like are awesome. you kidding I it guarantee they funny. were like oh my god we love Aureen we need to have her on more <laughs> we often. need to have her on all the time so you did that <sighs> show was that like kind of what threw you it pushed you into stardom and being famous no it, it I was famous before and then it was like survival VIP they took famous people to survive okay so okay 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 got it. Made my got, it, got it got it no no that's a it's a good one you it's probably would trauma. have regretted trauma? it trauma drama oh trauma. there was like trauma. Trauma. trauma trauma yes it was bad for me yeah it was tra- oh, traumatic you didn't like okay yeah, it was yeah, traumatic, traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. it was oh. not a good thing yes yeah i just find out i don't like people sure i mean don't we all she just found that out like i've known it for you hey listen the show worked for that like you found out more stuff about you exactly so after that um then like so you now have this being documented about you right yes so what's this for uh this is for a big tv channel in israel we have like two main uh main channel yeah, two main yeah channels we have two main channels okay. in Israel, uh-huh. and this is one of them, okay. and they are making a, a long show about me. Oh wow, so a documentary yeah. on yeah. you yeah. and your this, life. This uh, reporter, he, he made a lot of articles about me, and I'm really satisfied with him. So yeah, <laughs> so you're like, of course, listen, okay. now you have to keep He him. talks nicely right? about yeah. me, so I'm, I'm, going going to. I'm going to him and saying, like, don't forget, we have Germany in two, week, in two months, <laughs> so yeah. you, you make the article good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Positive, right? <laughs> Only get my good side? Exactly. That's a good it's idea. Actually, we're very nice to reporters that are yeah. nice. To, yeah, oh, you have fine. both good sides. Let's just be real. Here. I know, please. <laughs> I know. It's There's okay. not a bad We're side. We're sitting here looking like <laughs> I know, like dumpster fires. Oh, yeah, stop it. 
No, so people come up and take pictures with you. Yes, and when, ask for autographs. I, it in, I, I tell you what, when I come to the United States and people take pictures with me, it's way more exciting for me because I'm not from here. Mm-hmm. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. the Crossing little girl, over. exactly, yeah, yeah. the little girl from Tel Aviv yeah. came to the big city and people are, and it's the first time I was like, me? Are, you talking, are you talking to me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you want to take a picture with me? What? Crazy. And it's all because of Instagram and social media. It's mm-hmm. crazy. You just can go from one state to different states. It's crazy. Like people all over the world sees you. And I like it. How did you I grow your Instagram? Because how many followers do you have? Uh, more than half a million. Yeah, so I say you have over half a million. Yeah. So Damn. how did you, I mean, besides just posting pictures of you in uniform, right? Is there anything that like any tips or anything you can give people who want to grow their social media? Because mm. um, do you content. help girls grow their social yeah, media absolutely. and help them out with that? Yeah. Good content. Uh, good like content. That. It's all about good content. Make people be interested in what you do. Because it's not enough to be pretty and yeah. um, beautiful selfie, body. Selfie, it, selfie. No, yeah. it's, yep. It was good for the beginning. Mm-hmm. But not, not, sure. anymore. not anymore. Now you and mean. swimwear won't work. I promise you. Yeah. I don't have one picture with swimwear. So... So you're saying, really? okay. you're saying if yeah. I had, probably I had 3 million followers. Sure. But, but then it'll change. <laughs> so you're saying if it's you all about the quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To grow and have great followers who really like you and want to keep following you, have good content yeah. where you're like, you don't have to always be showing off your body, but exactly. have your personality out there. Exactly. It's way more interesting than like, just your If face. you're beautiful, it's just a bonus. But if you have like thoughts or you want to share something or you have something that you're very good at, Show it to the world. Sure. Yeah. Like, you have Facebook, you can write. You have Instagram, you can film. You have YouTube, you can make long movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have so many different ways to show yourself. And I think it's all about contact, but it takes a lot of time. It do- oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? Patience with it. Yeah. Wow. And just genuine content, too. Yeah. Oh, Don't yeah. Don't look like you're trying to exactly. no, pander like, to hey, people. No, no, fake. No, no. Yeah. Just, yeah. just be yourself. Be yourself. Exactly. Do you, you share a lot of your life on there? Like your personal life? No. No? Actually, no. Yeah. Uh, I share more like my my passion for guns, mm-hmm. but I don't like to show off my uh, my love life, for example. Right. I really Same way. Or family. I lo- love to or, keep it yeah. for myself. Me too. Because uh, every time I'm, I'm posting on Instagram and saying, wait, I know my life looks like, whoa, she's traveling all day, but no, I'm struggling. It's hard. I'm 25. I don't have a rich father to help me. Yeah. I made it all by myself and it's so hard people are trying to put me down all the time mm-hmm. and what you see on instagram it's only the good stuff yeah sure we all have bad days and i'm getting sick as well and just remember what you see on instagram is a lie i know yeah. like it's only the good yeah yes. there is good in every life but there is a lot of bad stuff going on yeah and i'm trying to make people understand it because people say all the time oh my god you're so rich your life are amazing yeah. it's yeah. not like this it's yeah. super hard but yeah. the same way we yeah. we tell people like, hey, we're real. Yeah, we struggle. Like I, <laughs> but I'm not gonna put that. I'm not gonna put a exactly. picture of me like this. I'm exactly. Like Instagram, well, but sure. it's happening. Only yeah. Gal Gadot does this. You know Gal Gadot, the Wonder Woman. Yes. Yeah. So only she does that. She she put uh, pictures with the Kmatim. No makeup oh, like on. Eye cream. Eye yeah. creams. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. She's amazing. She she's Israeli. good for her. She's she's like the biggest Israeli in the world. Yeah. I think. Yeah, and gorgeous. she's amazing. She really showed the wo- the people that not everything is that pink. it's makeup. This is who that I am. it's like exactly. camera filters. Yes, exactly. Like I like people that let you know that because exactly. like you I'm can taking thousands of of pictures. Yeah, only one Just is to good. Get this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, are you yeah. kidding? And I'm getting so much forced to write it. Like I see it. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fat. No, oh my nose. Oh no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people think like, one shot and that's it. Mm-hmm. No, it's a lot. No. Well, and with social media nowadays too, you can edit your picture a lot to where it doesn't almost even look like you yes. it's not it's crazy you. and yeah. then you, you see meet them in person exactly and you're are and you you're confused is that you yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. right here yeah. like a little bit like oh my gosh i mean you don't i don't ever want that to be something that people say to me and go you look nothing like your instagram and i'm like wait oh. is that bad or good <laughs> and the only i will say this is the one compliment i've gotten from instagram which i've i've taken myself and i was like yes is someone actually said you look prettier in person and i went oh, oh yeah thank you Thanks. thank you i i said it to you i think she's you one might, of the most beautiful women i've ever seen oh, absolutely really absolutely. she has a beautiful face and yes. she knows how to do my, her makeup amazing you did yeah. compliment me a lot yes. on my makeup <laughs> she came up to me and she goes oh my god did your you makeup's did beautiful your yeah. Makeup? Yeah. because yeah. we had a makeup artist there and, and then she goes did you do your own i was like yeah. yeah. I mean, it took me five hours. I don't always and like And you know what's when... annoying about her? She's also funny. I know. 
Is and nice. Yes. But you guys and are too. And a badass. Wait, ever we all in this whole group. Thank you. Stop. You're, she's so I'm really bad about so taking bitch. compliments. But, you're, but I love no. you. <laughs> but thank you. No. Um, but it's one of those things where I was like, okay, I'd rather be that type of person, right? Yeah. Than someone see me in person and go, you look no. much prettier in your pictures. In your pictures. Like, you definitely don't hurts. ever want that. It, it hurts. Stay at home, it's better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, you know, like, they kind of do themselves a disservice, right? And I get with these filters because for a while there, do you, are you on Snapchat? Yes. Okay. So there's a really pretty Snapchat filter. Like those Snapchat filters yes. make you look gorgeous Absolutely. all the time. And it got to the point where I, like a few years back, I kept using Snapchat filters. So when I took a picture of my face normally without the filter on, I, I was like, oh, you look ugly. Yes. And yes. I was I talking in a way. It's I was crazy. talking negatively to myself. Exactly. And I was like, I have to stop using this filter. Yeah. yeah. This is what society makes us makes us think that mm-hmm. we need to be perfect all the time. I know. We, uh, nobody's perfect. We're or ugly they make when we're going to sleep. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we're all ugly. <laughs> or they make us think that there are perfect so many perfect people in the world and there's really not like i've maybe met do you know what i mean one person that like no makeup exactly no hair yeah. nothing that was like gorgeous wow yeah maybe one but they, I, mean? I guarantee that they thought they were not beautiful oh they probably right? thought they absolutely. were ugly yeah absolutely and I here's the thing too did. like yeah. what is what really is perfection like who like societies yeah comes up with these things and it changes every decade it changes all the time right throughout time of what's pretty like back in the 18 you know early 1900s being pale right having light skin yeah. and being like really curvy and like that was really popular yeah. now it's like skinny yeah. or like well then for a while there was like really really anorexic yeah sk- yeah sick mm-hmm. skinny didn't like and that then now one. it's like big boobs big butt yeah. tiny exactly. waist yeah. right it changes all the time mm-hmm. so there is no really such thing as like it's tiring perfect i know to keep Person? up with it be yourself and yeah. fuck the rest yeah, yeah. it's so, so true things where it's just like oh <laughs> yeah what whatever i mean we we brought on a celebrity esthetician she does like um skincare for celebrities and she gave jesse and i some like good tips yeah to like help take care of our skin but beyond that it's like okay cool like yeah we'll prevent some pimples <laughs> yeah and some wrinkles yeah right i don't know like you have beautiful skin thank you what do you do for it anything particular nothing nothing, nothing. you just, never uh, done genetics nothing yeah you haven't done any uh, Botox or filler or any of She's that stuff. Makeup. I just She's know 25. how to do my makeup. I'm no, 25. I know, but I'm 25. The, the, the people I'm are starting like way young nowadays yes, too. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 it's different. like one of those things. Well, because um, what's funny is, okay, so when we all got together, I'm the only girl in the group who didn't have her breast done. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Do you remember that? Yes, that's <laughs> right. Because Orin goes, Ew, natural breasts. And I went, <laughs> ooh, natural and I went, breasts. mine. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, and I'm yeah. like, I was like, I get it. Because I'm the only one in the group. Of course, I have. She's like, you know, what's the point? Small <laughs> boobs. And at the time, too, I think I was, I remember, remember for a while, I was one of the only ones who never had gotten Botox or filler. Uh, I have gotten Botox now because I'm in my 30s. Yeah, right up here. Uh, but like, it just, yeah, yeah. So yeah, moves. can move my yeah. eyebrows a little bit, a little bit, a little, bit. <laughs> a little like, expressive. You know, it's very common, I guess, and it, you don't it realize is. it until you talk to people and you tell them that you got it, and then all of a sudden everyone starts going, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've got that too." Of course, like, oh, we all I did. didn't know that. Yeah, so that's after, why I asked after thirty, because <laughs> you have like I didn't do it before thirty-five for sure. Yeah, I mean thirty-three was when I did it. Yeah. So how old are you? Thirty-three. Really? <laughs> uh huh. I thought you were twenty and something. I will take it I will all day take long. It. All day <laughs> Maybe long. I'm fake now. You don't know it. I know, mm. right? Yeah. Mm, the bitch look old. She's been in America too long. <laughs> Get her back. Get her back. <laughs> Actually, She's hard to be fake. I kidding. do want to visit Israel. So you have to. Like, let's say if someone wants to go visit Israel um, and they want to travel there, what are some of the best places where they can go that you think um, they should visit? You have to go to the Western Wall in Jerusalem. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Um, Dead Sea is amazing to see. Tel Aviv, if you like parties and... Really? Weird people. <laughs> love it. Love it. Great. Is it like, is it like, um, Vegas? California. Oh, it's like California. Yeah. Tel Aviv? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, dang. Yeah. Let's go. Like, what type of parties? Like, parties that happen, like, here in like, Vegas? No, v- Vegas is whole different. I've, I've never seen something Mm-mm. like Vegas. Oh, okay. No, no. Vegas is ridiculous. <laughs> yes. And then what else? Jer- Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, mm. anywhere else? Mamum Latz Israel. Like, with any places with culture? Masha. Masha. Can. 
אין להם anything else? מה עוד מעניין בישראל? Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, they're green, they're green, they're green. Tel Aviv or Jerusalem? We're gonna have yeah. to go there. Is Jerusalem very, like, is it old school? Yes. Where you have a lot of the history and the culture. History and Arabic and Jewish and everybody's fighting with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mine, it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Let's just go to Tel Aviv and party. Exactly, party and <laughs> let's drink and have a good time. <laughs> Where, do you live in Tel Aviv? I live in Rishon Lezion. It's like five minutes from Tel Aviv. Oh, oh nice. well, yeah. very nice. Yeah. But yeah. my office is in Tel Aviv. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's Beautiful. probably better for your business. Yes, absolutely. And everything too. And again, we want to say your business is Alpha Gun Angels. Yes. Right? And where can they find you on like social media? Like tell them where they can find your video yeah. that might come um, out or when and where they can find you on Instagram. Right now we're working on a new YouTube channel. We made a few chapters already, but it's going to be on, on air like in months. It, it will take some time. But Instagram is our main channel and we have our own website that mm-hmm. is growing pretty well and equal. commerce with merchandise and cool stuff and holsters yeah. and a lot, of, a lot of tactical stuff nice and, and I'm, right now I'm working on a new company called OJ Pro Orange Julie Professional you're a busy I know <laughs> I love <laughs> it so do I it's tactical yeah. equipment for women okay I, I'm working on a tactical vest for women built for the women body I'm working on it with engineers and everything it takes a lot of time yeah <laughs> yeah but it's, it's I really want to encourage more women to go to the Absolutely. military and go into the firearm industry. So I think it will be good. Oh, the I think it will be amazing. belongs to women. What was that? The future uh-huh. belongs to women. Oh, I love I, it. I, yeah, I We agree. We obviously agree. So they can find you on Instagram where? Yeah. Or in Julie or Alpha Gun Angels. Okay. Or okay. Queen of Guns. I have like <laughs> several all accounts. The different all things, all yeah. Yeah. Just look for Or in Julie and you'll find anything else. You'll find my, all the yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Well, We typically, so I was going to look up a Drinking Bruette nomination, but I think this would be a really good one in this yeah. case to ask her if she yeah. has one. So what we do is every week when we come out with our episode, we have a Drinking Bruette of the week, right? It's someone who has meant a lot to you in your life, like a woman who has changed your life, who has been nothing but supportive, has been loving, maybe has been through a lot, and that you want to nominate to basically honor them. So do you have someone in your life mm. that... Like, it can be mom it, it can, can be, be someone you worked for worked best with friend, yeah. yeah someone who mentored you and has helped you along the way it doesn't even have to really be a, just a, a badass yeah. it could be a, a guy it could be a guy Listen. too like in all honesty no i know we, we're, we're, and, we're ending well, yep yeah yeah this is mm, it mm. It's okay if you don't have one. Or your dad. I don't know. Yeah. You want to honor your no, dad? No. I, I, I'm, I'm mad at him because he wasn't healthy. And I think it's very like okay. thinking about yourself. I just want to yeah, eat yeah, yeah. it and he got yeah. cancer. So I'm a little bit mad. Oh, got you. Yeah. Okay. But my mom is very strong woman. Yeah. Yes. She's, <laughs> yeah. She's yes. holding very good. She she got very depressed and got struck before he, uh, after he passed away. And she gave me a lot of like courage and... empowers me it sounds yeah. like she kind of is in your ear the whole time mm-hmm. so she's probably and the one you and we're gonna you. say your mom like to yeah you we're gonna your say mama mother. Mom. cheers to you you're the bro yes. of the week we love you so much yeah, this exactly. was thank awesome you so, so much, much. <laughs> yeah yes. thank you so much for yes. being on i'm sure everyone's gonna love you thank you so thank much you for your so bluntness much. we appreciate you, you. oh absolutely it was go very exciting for me yeah i know you gotta go she's a busy woman yes okay bye guys i'm going to the end right now there we go all right let's do it Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all have better things to do.